Hey guys, it's Brian K. Johnny B. And this is Unboxer Briefs. Welcome yeah. back. Uh, it's been quite some time, my huh, Johnny? Dude, it has <laughs> been like the pandemic. I like this pandemic setup we have. Yeah, yeah. What are we uh what are we unboxing today? So we've got the uh Star Wars Ronin Boba Fett. Uh, I got the prototype one here, and Johnny's got the original one. All right, so this one, the one that I have, is the uh, the uh, SDCC 2017 exclusive. Okay. Color edition. So I thought yours was a uh, stormtrooper because no. he's all white. Looks like a stormtrooper. In a galaxy far, far away. It's not a race, Johnny. Ah, ah opening up. <laughs> Because the bombers are coming in! <laughs> hey, quick, quick, gotta finish this video! So I have uh, instructions yep. in Japanese over here. Oh, it shows you where on his yeah. leg you can add the the sidearms and stuff. This is neat, the packaging's nice. The good old plastic. I mean, since the pandemic, we've been getting a lot more packages in at the house, so I'm like, boxes! <laughs> the extra plastic! <laughs> like a loser. Well, not like a lo like an adult loser, but like a man-child. I'm like, yes! It's, it's adult Johnny. Adult, adult Johnny, Johnny is basically 12-year-old Johnny. <laughs> no diff. He's got his little skirt. Do you have the little skirt under his Sub-Zero? Uh, let me see. No plastic skirt. The top plastic. Oh man, it's been a while since we've unboxed it. Unboxed anything, yeah. Let's see, look under the skirt. Oh, I think that's a tear. I think you have to tear that that little plastic skirt under his skirt. Oh, it's one of those, huh? Yeah. Just comes Sorry, up. Boba. Oh. oh, God! Oh! Oh, God, why? Why, Johnny? Yeah, so the reason why we uh, decided to unbox this one, you know, the game Ghost of Tsushima just came out on PS4 and. I told Johnny, why don't we uh, unbox the Samurai Boba Fett that I've had since 2017. Dude, <laughs> I've been sitting <laughs> on this thing for years. So we got, looks like we've got, what, four? No, five pairs of hands. The iconic jet pack. Then you got a little flintlock action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Holy shit. Holy sheath. Into the sheath. Holy sheath. you got to be sheathing me. Sheath. Rifle portrayed. Oh, there you go. Flintlock, I know. So yeah, it does come out. Yeah, backpack missile can be removed. You know, the scope moves too. The scope, yeah, comes yeah. up and down. Yeah, it moves up and down. And then there's... How many blades do you have? I have a total of F6, or six. F6, you, you suck my battleship! battleship. <laughs> this also reminds me of the fact that when Kenner back in the day came up with uh, the Boba Fett action figure for when the movie came out, came out, this dart right here was red. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because really? it was an actual dart and it popped out. And you would press a button on his back and it would shoot out. And because there weren't as many warnings back in those days as there are today for toys, a lot of kids <laughs> choked on it, I guess. So down the line, they eventually did make it as it was all a part of his, his overall mold. It's like, oh my god, too. It's a little sharpie sharp, too. Yeah, these toys are definitely not for kids. That's a but choking uh, hazard. And they have, they gotta have that on the thing, right? Pretty sure yeah, warning too. choking hazard, yeah. yeah. This he's, already, is, he's already curious about it. He'll walk in there and go, like, oh, I gotta get in there. In here. Like, <laughs> get away from that! <laughs> so, what I'm, what I'm concerned about having the daggers next to his uh, ankle is say he, like, trips, he just stabs himself as well. I know. All he needs to do is bend his knee. Bend his knee, and there you go. Fire! Ow! And this one just looks like a wrench, like oh, a the... water pump. Yeah, this one looks like a crowbar. If he needs to do some maintenance or fix a washer and dryer, that's what's going on in Johnny's house. <laughs> you gotta clamp it down. Clamp it. Clamps. All right. So hey, you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be the turntable test. This is a new, whole new idea. Turntable <laughs> test. Well, well, well. How the turntables. I really like the color of yours. I like the original um, The classic coloring. paint? Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, the prototype is just, it's just all white, so you don't get to really He's so stormtrooper. Yeah, it's very stormtrooper-ish. First off, who made this? 
All right, so let's get into some of the details here. Of the yeah, so this was made by uh, Bandai Tamashi Nations. Mm -hmm. So nice. um, the sculptors are Takeyuki Takeya and Junichi Toriguchi. So you got at Comic Con. I think you said you can actually pick this up at like Target. Yeah. So uh, what I like to do when we do these videos is try to see if you guys can, you know, purchase it yourself you know, yeah. online yourself. The uh, the original Boba Fett uh, color rec uh, color you can pick it up at Target. It's online right now for one sixty seven ninety nine. The exclusive edition, of course, is going to be a little bit more just because of the fact it's a uh, Comic Con exclusive. The all white. And it's all white. Mm -hmm. um, you can get that on Amazon for two twenty four ninety nine. <sighs> I don't think that's how much I paid for it, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, it was probably the same price as Boba Fett, you know, when I picked it up at Comic-Con. You know, they're, they're going to mark it up after the convention, because that's what they always do, just because it's a limited supply. So I guess it's ratings, right? Did you want to go first? I do. I don't know, man. I, I'm i a big Star Wars fan, but I'm also a big safe money fan. Yeah. <laughs> as I'm a little cheapskate, but, But you if know. you're purely just going off... Aesthetics, like, you know, and, and, I... And, and I guess accessories. My brain is just thinking if we were to paint the white one and it were to be the uh, Pedro Pascal version. Oh man, that would be so cool, but. It wasn't out yet. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't out yet, you know. John you know Favreau. what, they probably will be making one though. I mean, I'd be, I'd be surprised if they didn't come out with Just some. get silver spray paint. <laughs> exactly. That's, you know, that's a lazy Johnny version of doing it. Just but, spray yeah. paint it. I would well, be at a, like a probably a full ten if it were Pedro Pascal. Uh -huh. I want to say maybe a six out of ten. Like the other thing afterwards is, is it worth the two hundo? Nah, dude. The most I would pay for this, like if it were used, probably seventy bucks. Yeah. You yeah. know, under a hundred. Yeah. I prefer the color. I mean, they're the, yeah. they're the bold fit colors. The prototype one, I would give it a like a five. You know. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's a prototype. It's a prototype color and all. It's a, it's a, it's an exclusive um, uh, edition, but you just don't really get to see all the colors that you would with the original figurine. I mean, it's just all. It's he looks like a stormtrooper. That's what he does. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna put it to you guys. What do you think of these? Leave it your comments, concerns, rants, troll us, whatever. Yeah. Would you Would you buy this? Would you buy these for? The current retail price i mean i think johnny and i agree that we wouldn't but um and while we have you here uh just want to let you know about uh brian's king koopa cosplay and my uh paisano pictures on instagram i'm doing this thing called quarantine scenes by the time this comes out i don't know which one will be out so i'm doing things at the same time exactly yeah yeah man special thanks to um the lovely maddie for one loving me my god and, but also being like, what a producer, getting in here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you. Um, see you all at the next one. It's been fun. All right. <laughs> <laughs>